You are listening to the Sounds of Positivity with Crystal Mars, the real tea you need to navigate through life. Join me for discussions on topics from business to marketing and gain insights on how to start and get the work done. Hey everyone, welcome to Positivity. I am Crystal Mars, a social media strategist and small business owner. I am a creative, so I create crochet bikinis and wear bras. On today's episode, we'll be talking about having a vision and starting, right? You've all, we've all heard the saying, the secret to getting ahead is getting started, right? And although that sounds a bit cliche, we probably heard this a lot of times, we actually don't really consider it when it comes to, you know, getting started in life. So we want to start a business, oh, I don't have the correct packaging, Oh, my logo is not right yet and we actually don't take steps to you know move forward because we don't believe that we have all the tools in place the example that I use was when you're learning to swim you don't necessarily need all of the equipment needed to learn to swim right you just need to take that first step and test out the water get acquainted you know you don't need every single thing and I find the sooner you get acquainted, you know, there's trial and error, the sooner you get yourself involved in something that you want, then the, the sooner it is for you to become a specialist, the sooner it is for you to become a veteran. And I don't know how much of you ever heard of the 10,000 hours, but Malcolm Gladwell has this book called Outliers, and he talks a lot about 10,000 hours, he talks about the Beatles, he talks about other people in history who use this 10,000 hours where you know the time you put into your craft continuously makes you a specialist in the field. So I guess you can check that out. You know, those of you who are interested in personal development, that's a really, really great book. Um, but I'm really here today to share a bit about me and tell you about my journey of having a vision and getting started. So even sitting here right now, I am extremely scared. I probably like restarted this video like twice by now. Um, you know, I have no knowledge of podcasts, you know. I usually record myself but with my cell phone, so to me this feels extremely out of my comfort zone, you know, and it's crazy, but I'm still doing it anyway. And you know, the only way I could actually get better is, you know, by diving right into it, even 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 though I'm not ready. And I know you can hear me stuttering, right? Right. Um, in terms of having a vision and getting started, I would have never been here if, um, how many years ago, 2014, six years ago, I did not make the step or I didn't have the vision that I wanted more for myself. Six years ago, I was on a completely different journey, right? I was living like on the edge. I had no worries. I had no interest in even having a formal education. So I had this epiphany, right? Um, and this is a story that I tell a lot. So I'll actually share it with you. You know, we're just getting to know each other. So let me just tell you about me. Um, I lived right across the street from a bakery. And this lady who worked at the bakery, she was an older lady. And she would work downstairs at the bakery. And then she lived in a room just above. So day in and day out, I would see her coming from upstairs to the bakery, upstairs to the bakery, and she just lived with a cat. And shortly after, she died. And I felt like I need more to life than this. Because somehow I, you know, I, I made my, I looked at that lady from the point of view of myself. And I said, I really need more in life than this. You know, just living, just living to get, you know, a paycheck and just living and then just saying, I knew that I wanted to be more. And neither of my parents even had a formal education, so it's very easy, easy for me to have that mindset, right? So when I got this epiphany, I made a promise to myself that I wanted more and I was going to work on my education and, you know, plan for myself. So I started this educational journey and I had a vision board. In 2015, I had this calendar. It was a full calendar, you know, with all the months plotted out. And I just had a goal for each month, right? So I had everything written down, you know, by this date, by that day, I'm going to achieve this, that. And I started classes. I started classes. So 
2015 was one of the most productive years I had. Very, very productive. I attained everything that I set and I find this is also another example that if you don't set targets, you're not likely to achieve your goals or achieve them. I don't want to say in time because it depends on your person, but you're less likely, you're just less likely to achieve, I will say. So I had these goals, I had these targets and I worked towards them. I saw this calendar like every single day and I was serious about my business. I was so serious. I was like grinding, hustling, just trying to get this done. And at the same time, I was working at this restaurant, right? Um, when I started, I never told the lady I was studying because I wanted nothing to stand in the way of me getting this job, right? So I would work around the clock. If I was going to work 7 to 3, I would be studying 4 to 11 or whatever time. And, you know, this continued. If I was working 3 to 10, then the whole afternoon I would spend my days in the public library. Everybody in this library knew me. I was in this library 24-7. This was like my second home. <laughs> Big up City Public Library. Um, right, so this happened. This this was a great year. I met so much great people because I also find that when you're striving for things, the people around you see that you're striving and then automatically help you. Right? So I got a lot of help. You know, teachers would help me, tutors would help me, you know, and I, I wanted it so badly. I just emerged myself, submerged myself in all of this education. And you know it, it was worth it right um, fast forward I went to university and I also had a different vision board right so my university years was five years and I had this five-year plan along the way I would add stuff I would take stuff off but the you know the goal the core goal was there right so I had this vision board just right on my bedroom wall every single morning I would look up and see that every single night I would see that and I was so motivated. I just felt like a flower from the concrete, right? So, you know, after these five years, and I just want to say it was not all smooth, right? When I started university, I was working at the restaurant the same way. And then as my courses became difficult, I had to choose whether I was going to give up school or give up work. So I ended up giving up work and I, my sole income was my crochet. So I finished university. And, you know, at the end of university, I was staring at my vision board and I realized that every single thing I had, you know, for myself in that five-year span, I achieved. And having a vision board is very, very important. You know, you see your goals clearly. And, you know, if you want it bad enough, like I wanted it bad enough, nothing could stand in my way of my goals. Not my situation, not any external forces, you know, not the way that people would talk to me or anything like that. I chose to look at the good in every single situation because I knew I wanted more. And I knew that I would not be defined by my circumstances, right? So, I achieved these goals. And funny enough, before I actually I came here for this job, because I work at Be Social, I had this book, much like this black and white book I have right here and my goal was when I graduate I want to have a job in a marketing agency so I wrote that and I actually forgot it while I was working here I found this book and I was just you know just reading through and I was like oh well I wrote this down so I think it's very very essential to you know write down your goals revisit them you know never give up and stay on one path you know, follow on course until successful. That is my mantra for life. Um, so here I am at this place, learning and growing. And even now, um, I created like three different vision boards in 2020. Firstly, because the external events have been changing so rapidly, I had to revisit my goals and be like, you know, this is realistic, this is not realistic. But the overall goal remains the same, right? We just sometimes we need to have a contingency plan in place where we could revisit our goals and make some tweaks. It's normal for our roadblocks, for battles, you know, sad times, bad times. You know, we as people, we become, you know, not consistent sometimes. We lose motivation and that is okay. 
I find a lot of times people, you know, we have role, mo role models and we believe that there's something called perfection and that is a lie, okay? There's no such thing as perfectionist. So, you know, things happen, you have to revisit your plans, and you have to stay motivated. Um, right, so planning and getting started. Fast forward, fast forward. Here I am, you know, manifesting or manifested most of my goals and my goals are only growing and growing um only getting bigger right uh i'm very very big on personal development you know all things business i'm very very interested in charity and i'm also interested in helping others because i know where i was mentally and Somehow I just feel this inner need to always give back and always help somebody in a similar situation to You know encourage them So that is why I Created this podcast, you know positivity where we'll be talking about all things business entrepreneurship self-development and Marketing because marketing of course is my field. So if I could use this platform to give back, you know share my stories um, enlighten other persons and you know just grow a community of striving individuals that is exactly what I'm going to use this platform to do so I look forward to spending days with you meeting me getting to meet me more um, finding out more about these tips and tricks all stuff marketing you know this is just me introducing myself because this is the first episode but I look forward to spending many days with you you know like I said, you got to explain more about me and, you know, just growing together generally. So key takeaway, you know, if you have something that you want to do, you have this vision or you at least have a dream, I want you to work on it. You know, I have this, it's cool, but no, I actually walked on my vision board today. Um, a plan without action is a dream and action without plan is a nightmare, right? So even when it comes to the law of attraction not sure how many of you know about this but when it comes to the law of attraction some people believe oh i'm just going to sit down and i'm just going to visualize this stuff and it's going to happen you actually have to put in your work you have to want it as bad as you want to breathe this is another cliche saying but you have to want it as bad as you want to breathe that you put in that work you have to put yourself in a situation where you cannot retreat right um, you know, sometimes you want to take steps and these steps seem, you know, really, really tough. You know, this might be something really hard. Like I said, me sitting here is really, really hard for me. You know, I stuttered a thousand times, said things over like a thousand times, but I'm still here. Right? You either grow or what, what am I saying? What am I saying? You either swim or sink, right? So it's either um, you fail and you grow or you fail and you give up and that's not the kind of mindset that I'm working with so if that's your mindset maybe I'm not talking to the right audience maybe you not need to listen to me again but I'm just here to spread positivity and to grow with a tribe um I guess that's all for now I look forward to seeing you next week this is Crystal signing out have a beautiful day, stay positive, keep visualizing, and start, just start.